A 3D printing plant for military weapons making a new home right here in our area. Yeah, the National Center for Manufacturing Sciences has launched a pretty innovative program. It's all happening today. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live in Aberdeen where these 3D printed materials will be made. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. They call the 3D printing program AMP for short, and we're here with the president and CEO of the National Center for Manufacturing Sciences, Lisa Strama, to find out exactly what that means. So, Lisa, tell us what type of work will be done here. Well, thank you for the opportunity to talk about this. The type of work that will be done here is with regards to additive manufacturing, further furthering 3D printing. We are bringing together the best minds across the nation from academia to industry to government to go work on this technology. And how will our soldiers benefit from this? Well, we're going to enhance soldier readiness, uh, the Army readiness through this technology. We're going to be bringing forth technology that is not normally seen in the field and talk about how we do that technology transfer. And why did you decide to pick Aberdeen? Well, Aberdeen's a great place. It's just really a mecca of being able to bring the industry and government as well as the academics together in this location. We're located close to the ARL, the Army Research Laboratory, and we've got a lot of resources. We've had a lot of support out of the local government and the state government of Maryland. And how do you interact with the Army Proving Ground? Well, actually on the projects themselves, we get together and they review the projects with regards to benefits. To, uh, to the Army and determine from there. And then what we do is we work together as a program, through the program, to really bring the results together. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Lisa. Later this morning, they will kick off the official launch of this new program, which could also start a new era in high tech for Aberdeen. We are live in Aberdeen. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.